my 11 years, I've never dealt with what I've dealt with. You know why? Because no one cared about your league before Caitlin Clark. There were no opposing fans. You barely had home fans. I ask you directly, when people use your name for racism, misogyny, whatever, yeah. what is your response to that specifically? Yeah, I think it's disappointing. I think, um, you know, everybody in our world, you know, deserves the same amount of respect. The, the women in our league deserve the same amount of respect. So um, I, people should not be using my name to push those agendas. Um, it's disappointing. Um, you know, it's not acceptable. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, this league is the league I grew up admiring and wanting to be a part of. Like, some of the women in this league were my biggest idols and role models growing up and helped me want to achieve this moment right here that I get to play in every single Alyssa Thomas and the Connecticut Sun have just been eliminated from the playoffs. Just a heads up, as I'm sure you haven't watched a game since Caitlin Clark's exit, let's be real, no one has. I'm it now because I may not talk well, about the WNBA again until April. <laughs> well, okay. Trust me, I'm not going to be watching. I, I can't, I'm not going to be watching. Alyssa Thomas was quick to criticize Caitlin Clark and her fans after her win but has struggled with the banter following her loss to the Lynx. Despite not scoring below 10 points throughout the playoffs, she delivered a mere seven points in the most crucial game of her career. We don't, we don't want fans that are, are gonna degrade us and, and call us names. I mean, we already see what, what's happening in the world. Something needs to be done, whether it's, you know, them checking their fans or this league checking. Alyssa Thomas appeared visibly frustrated with her teammates throughout the game and photos captured her poor body language, disappointing many fans. Observers noted that her lack of composure and energy reflected poorly on her leadership, leading some to express their reluctance to have her on their team. We don't wanna have to deal with what everybody else has to deal with over Twitter. We're special. We're tall women who occasionally make layups. That makes us special, and we deserve a special level of treat. The standout photo from the game featured Marina May, DJ Carrington, and Alyssa Thomas all pointing fingers at one another. Ironically, these players, who had previously attempted to rattle Caitlin Clark, were now caught in a moment of mutual blame. Honestly, it's, it's been a lot of nonsense. Um, I think in my 11-year career, I've, I've never experienced the comments from the Indiana Fever fan base. Um, you know, we had her face on a serious matter that happened in, in this world and it's unacceptable honestly to make matters worse Alyssa thomas was seen throwing a tantrum at dj carrington as their team fell behind by 20 points in a dismal performance thomas managed to take only six shots and secured just two rebounds all while being dominated by her opponent this lackluster showing in an elimination game left much to be desired is caitlin clark currently the face of the wnba Yes. Do I think if Asia Wilson dropped a shoe and Caitlin Clark dropped a shoe today at the very same time that Caitlin Clark would outsell Asia's shoe by a hundred times? Yes, I think that would be the case. Earlier in the season, Alyssa Thomas openly criticized Caitlin Clark's fan base, labeling them as disrespectful and unruly. She argued that the media attention and hype surrounding Clark were exaggerated insisting that the young guard still had much to prove in the WNBA. Thomas didn't hold back in expressing her views, claiming that Clark was thrust into the spotlight too soon and that her fans were prematurely praising her achievements. However, as the season unfolded, Thomas's comments would come back to haunt her, especially as Clark continued to shine on the court, further heightening the rivalry between them. They're all gonna, oh, it's Caitlin Clark, it's her fans. It's her fault, it's Caitlyn. Oh, Caitlyn's just this burden for the league. We don't want those types of fans. The tension between Alyssa Thomas and Caitlyn Clark simmered throughout the season, as Thomas consistently downplayed Clark's growing achievements. Not shy about her opinions, she took every chance to diminish the buzz around Clark. DJ Carrington, Thomas's teammate on the Connecticut Sun, eagerly joined in, often dismissing Clark's potential and seemingly enjoying the opportunity to undermine the rising star. Meanwhile, Caitlin watched DJ get aggressively fouled without any calls, experiencing firsthand the challenges of competing at this level. Welcome to Caitlin's world. And the WNBA is gonna release a statement and Alyssa Thomas, Thomas and these other girls are gonna hold press conferences 
Have you seen these tweets? Oh, how hurtful they are. Sticks and fingernails may put out my eye, but words, that's what really kills me. The two made light of the notion that Caitlin Clark could ever surpass Alyssa Thomas in assists for the season, believing it to be out of reach for the young guard. At one point, Thomas even laughed off the idea, confidently joking that Clark would never outdo her in that category. However, the universe has a way of serving up irony, and things soon took an unexpected turn. As the WNBA playoffs heated up, Connecticut's championship hopes hinged on the performance of its veteran leaders. The Sun staged a remarkable comeback after being down 2-0 in their series against the Minnesota Lynx. With their backs against the wall, they fought hard to force a decisive Game 5, putting them just one win away from a coveted spot in the finals. This resilience showcased the team's determination and ability to rise to the occasion when it mattered most. The semifinals again. They lost in a game five again. They made it to the finals in 2022, but they have continually come up short. They have continually been a bridesmaid and never the bride. Four of their five starters are free agents going into next season. However, when everything was on the line, the Suns leader, Alyssa Thomas, faltered in what was meant to be her defining moment. She struggled mightily, missing key shots, making questionable decisions, and ultimately failing to deliver the performance her team desperately needed. When the lights shone bright, Alyssa Thomas disappeared, and her off night proved costly, leading to the Suns' season ending in disappointment. The weight of their loss fell squarely on her shoulders. For a player who had spent so much time tearing down others, it was a bitter end to what had once been a promising run for the team. To Thomas is one of the most quiet, woman of few words, does not mince her words, lets her game speak for herself type of people you will ever meet. I do think over the course of the year, the players have been saying and saying and saying, something needs to stop. We need to show people who we are. We need the commissioner to speak on this, which she, you know, the WNBA came for a statement, had a statement yesterday, but things just haven't been the way it needed to and sort of setting the tone, especially with this new influx of fans on what we stand for and what we don't. I think Kaylin has used her voice in the ways that mm -hmm. she has tried to, but still, mm -hmm. like, it, it's been... Fans were furious, and rightfully so. This was supposed to be Connecticut's year. They had the talent, experience, and momentum on their side. After fighting their way back into the series, many believed they were primed for a championship run. Instead, they watched in disbelief as their star player Alyssa Thomas faltered in the spotlight when it mattered most. Connecticut's hopes crumbled as Thomas struggled to find her rhythm, and the team's playoff dreams slipped further away. Now, Elena Smith for four rebounds, that's probably on me. That's that's on me, I'll say that. But this, this right here, Seven points in an elimination game? To make matters worse, the frustration wasn't just evident in their play. During a critical timeout with the Sun down by 20 points, Alyssa Thomas was seen in a heated argument with Joni Carrington. These teammates, who had spent so much of the season ridiculing Caitlin Clark, were now turning on each other as their season spiraled out of control. While all this chaos unfolded on the court, guess who was watching it from the comfort of her couch? That's right. Caitlin Clark. The same Caitlin Clark who had been mocked by Thomas and Carrington for months, the one they claimed would never surpass Thomas. Yet here she was, having broken the assist record for the season and proving all her doubters wrong. Clark didn't just meet expectations. She obliterated them, all while witnessing her critics fall apart. There are very, very few people, but there are some out there who resent the fact that this young white girl came out there and did her thing. Rookie of the year, fourth in the league for MVP voting, assist leader, one of the top leading scorers after the Olympic Games. She put on a show validating all the attention she was receiving. To make things even sweeter, Cheryl Swoops, a WNBA legend in her own right, had also expressed doubts about Caitlin Clark earlier in the season. While Swoops acknowledged Clark's talent, she questioned whether the young guard could truly live up to the hype and lead the league in assists. However, as the season unfolded, it became abundantly clear that Clark not only proved Alyssa Thomas wrong, but also silenced critics like Swoops, who had underestimated her abilities. 
Caitlin Clark didn't just meet expectations, she shattered them. Her remarkable performance on the court spoke volumes, sending a strong message to everyone who doubted her potential and showcasing her readiness to shine on the biggest stage. But if you don't have players around you that can score the basketball, you're not gonna get 19 assists. It's hard to ignore the shift in energy during the playoffs, as the buzz was noticeably absent. While the WNBA boasts many talented players, the absence of Caitlin Clark underscored just how much she has become the face of the league. The drastic drop in viewership and attendance during the playoffs, even in semi-final games, directly reflects Clark's immense star power and the electrifying presence she brings to the court. Whether fans admire her undeniable skill or criticize the attention she garners, one thing is clear. Caitlin Clark is the future of the WNBA. Her impact on the league is already being felt, and the sharp decline in excitement without her involvement speaks volumes about her role as the league's most magnetic figure. She has become a central attraction, and the playoffs are undeniably less thrilling without her on the court. Let's shift the focus back to Alyssa Thomas and the Connecticut Sun as they face the decisive Game 5 against the Minnesota Lynx. All eyes were on Thomas, who was expected to lead her team to the WNBA Finals. This was her moment to step up and prove herself on the biggest stage, yet she faltered, delivering a subpar performance just when her team needed her most. Despite the Suns' valiant effort to come back from a 2-0 deficit in the series, they couldn't seal the deal and fell short of reaching the finals, ending their season in bitter disappointment. For the 2023 season, the WNBA had grown by 40% viewership from 2022 to 2023. But with Caitlin Clark's arrival, it's grown by 400% viewership. What that means is if the WNBA were continue to grow at the rate it grew from 22 to 23, it would take until 2028 to do what Caitlin Clark did this year. Meanwhile, Caitlin Clark sat at home, watching it all unfold. The very player who had been mocked and ridiculed by Thomas and Carrington now had the ultimate last laugh. She didn't need to be on the court to emerge victorious in this narrative. Clark, who had already shattered records and silenced her critics with her stellar play throughout the season, was witnessing her detractors unravel. The irony of the Suns' downfall was almost poetic. Thomas and Carrington, who had spent so much time downplaying Clark's rise, were now falling apart while she observed from afar. It was a fitting twist in a season filled with drama and tension. We all know what this really is. It's an attack on Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark's the wrong face for this league. The final blow to Alyssa Thomas's legacy this season came not just from the loss, but in the manner of her exit. This game was meant to be her defining moment, one that would lead the Connecticut Sun to the WNBA Finals and solidify her status as one of the league's best. Instead, Thomas fell flat when the stakes were highest. There were a but lot of people that laid it. the groundwork you... that deserve shine as well. He, here, they, here, they, here's what we're going to do. Are they playing now? The collapse of the Connecticut Sun juxtaposed with the rise of Caitlin Clark has emerged as one of the most compelling narratives in recent WNBA history. The Sun, led by seasoned veterans like Alyssa Thomas, were anticipated to be serious title contenders. And to act like there isn't or hasn't been legitimate resentment emanating from those who are pioneers. Nobody's fooled here. You got pundits who used to play in the WNBA, some of them who didn't, and who were speaking on behalf of those who didn't want to create that kind of noise themselves because of the negative impact. We talk about it when the men do it. If we detect jealousy, if we detect envy, if we detect resentment, and it's amongst the fellas we put it out there, shit, we act like it's the latest episode of General Hospital. But when the ladies are feeling that way about another young lady like Caitlin Clark, and people like myself and Shay Shay call it out, suddenly it's a problem. However, their disappointing playoff exit has only magnified Clark's accomplishments. With every record she breaks and every game she dominates, Clark continues to silence her critics. As fans look forward to next season, it's clear that Caitlin Clark will once again be the center of attention.
shattering records and leaving her doubters in the dust. For now, she can relish the satisfaction of having the last laugh in this season's dramatic storyline. In contrast, Alyssa Thomas and DJI Carrington must confront the harsh reality of a season marked by frustration, internal conflicts, and unmet expectations. While they spent much of their time criticizing Clark, it was ultimately their own team that unraveled when the stakes were highest. As for Caitlin, she'll continue to excel and win, doing what she does best. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. More exciting content is on screen now.